In uh, one of his poems, the great Indian poet uh, Rabindranath Tagore, who is also a great sage, seer, rishi, in my opinion, in one of his poems, he said, in this playhouse of infinite forms, I caught sight of the formless. And so my life was blessed. So today I want to share with you why your relationship with the formless is the ultimate uh, secret, or should I say the ultimate path to liberation from suffering and also from uh, um, from uh, mundane, trivial, uh, banal activities because they distract from our liberation and enlightenment. So let's uh, try and go a little deep into this. Consciousness without form uh, is pure consciousness and it is formless consciousness. It is symbolically represented through our everyday experience of mind, body, and the physical world. The formless awareness is ultimately the fundamental reality. Without formlessness, there is no experience of form. This formless awareness is of the nature of pure consciousness, as I said. And the dissolution of boundary and the dissolution of the boundaries between the perceiving subject and the objects of perception in formless consciousness suggest that the forms we perceive are symbolic representations of this underlying formless reality. Our minds, which do not have a tangible form like the body, are an emerging expression of this formless depth, the mind, which does not have a tangible form. The process of how formless thought comes into form within human beings involves the interaction of universal mind, self-interaction of universal mind, which is pure consciousness or formlessness. And then um, it also modifies itself as the experience of sensations or combinations of sensations, which we call the body and the physical world, the universe. So the physical world is also a symbolic manifestation of the formless. So when we understand this, the ultimate meaning of any form, including objects, buildings, Mumbai State Building, or, you know, um, stars and galaxies, all actually is a result of self-interaction of this formless uh, being that we are beyond all conditioning and beyond all uh, beyond all perception the inconceivable imperceivable that makes the perceivable and conceivable possible so formless consciousness is the backdrop or ground from which all individual conscious experiences emerge it is the ultimate nature of reality itself and once again, in this state, the boundary between the subjective and objective phenomena, because all form is ultimately phenomena, fluctuations of consciousness. In this understanding, the boundary between the subjective self and the objective phenomena, including mind, body, and universe, dissolves. There is no separation between the perceiver and perceived objects, and that includes um, your body. This understanding has little or no information content, except as 
potential information. It is a state of pure contentless awareness without specific mental objects or representations. So mystics and non-dual traditions understand this as the realization we are all one. And that one is formless consciousness underlying all experiences in all subjects and objects of experience. And we can access this through meditation and through practices aimed at separating awareness from the contents of consciousness or through certain, these days, psychedelic experiences as well. So beneath the constantly changing stream of thoughts, sensations, perceptions, there is a limitless field of this deep divine consciousness. And out of this, all experiences arise and into which all experiences also return or subside. Recognizing yourself as this formless ground is knowing yourself as the divine knowing yourself as the divine. And at this level, you also see the inseparability and the interconnectedness and the impermanence of all forms and phenomena and detaching from identification with those experiences and finding yourself as the ground of being that leads to infinite experiences leads to liberation. You know yourself as the inconceivable, imperceivable, formless, fundamental, uh, infinite, shapeless, timeless being without which there is no experience of either mind, of either mind or body or universe. They are just fluctuations of the self, fall in love with the formless and your life will be blessed. I hope this helps. Let me know.